Il Chon il Gujo and Uri Kajan Chanasana Chushin Hago. On young Tango Chaja, on young age Chang Joy Sang, Jason Jungu Bwa, Chong Chang Jungu Bull, Chong Gong Halbo Sur, Meng Seng Anaida. E. Chon il Gujo and Uri Kajan Chong Sarang and Chunchin Hago. Anul Munim Bwa, Chong Munim Bullo. Chungjimjo, Hongjo 매일 주체적 천상 세계와 대장적 천상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 열정을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 천일국 주인 오늘 부터가 참 사랑을 주심하고 부모님과 청모님의 대신 가정으로서 천일을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 we now call on Reverend Bruce Gladner to offer the morning prayer. Good morning, our most precious heavenly parent and our true parents. We are so grateful that our true mother could return back to this nation of America as she wants to create the hedge around this nation, this great nation that was prepared by you, our most precious, loving, heavenly parent. We are saddened and sorrowful that this nation has not fulfilled her responsibility the people of this nation have not fulfilled their portion of responsibility. We took for granted so many years the greatness of this nation, not for itself, but for the sake of this entire world. We lost the vision of living for the sake of others, living for the sake of this world. We don't know, we don't feel, we don't understand the blessings that we've been given. And thusly, we have not realized the responsibility also that came with these great blessings. Please help us to awaken this nation. Please help us to awaken ourselves that we can truly be aligned with our true parents and that we can bring them joy and bring them happiness and, and that we can bring all those people who've lived their lives, those saints and sages who've walked this path, who've really invested themselves, lived and died for this day. Our most precious heavenly parent, we pray that we can come to you as filial children and wanting to make you proud, wanting to see our mother, her beautiful smile. When she smiles, she, she can light up this entire world. And when she is sad, she is so sad. And we feel that as well. She has such great hope and such great expectation for this nation that she's returned to this country to bring us together. We are grateful for the, the education that we're receiving every morning, 
because it is helping us so much to rekindle what we knew, what was deep in our hearts that was somewhat dormant, but now we are coming alive. We are realizing that that everything, everything is this filial heart towards, towards you, towards our true parents, towards our elders, towards our, our parents, towards er, 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 towards and, and and towards everyone that we can really have this heart of 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 being part of a, a true family. And so please guide us that we can strengthen all of our and fulfill all of the eight stages. Oftentimes when we hear some of these messages, we realize we kind of missed things. But Dr. Yang always encourages us, always gives us that, well, let's start now. Let's start. It's not too late. It's not too late if it's not we couldn't do with our children, do with our grandchildren or our great-grandchildren. And we can certainly extend this family within all the relationships that we establish in our life. So please be with our mother. Please be with our father in, 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 in heaven. And please allow us to receive your word this morning. We thank you and we offer this prayer in the name of the Grodner family, a blessed central family. Amen and adieu. Adieu. Thank you, Reverend Gardner. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our morning's devotion. Okay. 안녕하세요. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers and sisters from all over the world. So glad to see you this morning. So let's have the 10 points appreciation. I'd like to ask uh, Reverend Edner, please uh, you uh, select someone to share 10 points appreciation. Reverend Bob Mansur. Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. You got, good morning, uh, Dr. Yong. Good Thank morning. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, my uh, 10 points, uh, meeting the Messiah. I, everybody knows, that some people know Camp K in California. I remember walking down that creek, creek bed in California and saying over and over again, I can't believe I met the Messiah. I can't believe I met the Messiah. <laughs> Uh, I'm grateful for my wife, so faithful and so kind to me and so generous to our guests at our home always. She's great. She's great. So obviously, I'm grateful for the blessing. Also, the fact that I have so many amazing, wonderful brothers and sisters. Isn't it awesome? It is really cool. I'm also grateful for my trinity. And that's uh, with the Dunkley and Nitro couples that I'm so honored to be with. And I want to share about that for a moment. I really like the Korean idea, and Dr. Yong knows about this more, the idea of the kun kunjip, the big house. So I'm like the elder brother's house. And I always wanted my younger brothers and sisters to feel they can come to my house anytime. And wow. Reverend Dunkley would call you know, with maybe one hour notice and my wife and I running around and cleaning the here and there and getting ready and everything, but always, always stop everything and pray before guests come more prepare internal and God telling me many times, even when I struggled a little bit at times, be generous, be generous, be strongly greeting and loving. So I'm so grateful for that. And I, my last point about that is, you know, the loyalty commitment we had to each other, even before Reverend Dunkley was an important leader. If Reverend Dunkley's going to Los Angeles, you know, I'm going to go to Los Angeles. It's Las Vegas, Chicago. I'm going to go there. Even if I'm going to a Baptist church and I know it's going to be a five hour service, I'm going to go there. But the sweet joy that we experienced many times afterward, the sweet joy of sharing, our experiences as best friends. So great. I also want to say uh, about my local, so thank you for that. I want to say uh, also my local pastor, Pastor Crescentia Layton, wonderful, so grateful. The many groups that I attend that support me 
and help me to practice being a better person, all my Zoom meetings and everything. The younger generation, Tomomi, Shogo. <laughs> oh, the, oh my God, like I can be my best friends. I had a wise friend say one time, when you see your friends, how can I help you? How can I help you? Just, I'm so grateful for that. Uh, also, my business, which is caring for uh, veterans for the VA, Veterans Administration in my home. I'm grateful for that. It's a cool job. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, we can uh, recommend one more person. Thank you for your sharing just now. Heavenly Green. Heavenly Green. Hmm. Heavenly Father loves Heavenly Green so much. So this ne. So this ka. Wow, wow. What a moment in history that we are living in. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning. Pangap sumnida. Yeah, me too. Oh, amazing. You make me feel brand new. <laughs> <laughs> My first and top priority is to give thanks to heavenly parent and true parents. Yes. This kind of training of the vertical alliance was always with us, but I didn't understand it deeply. But since the coming of our great teacher, Dr. Chung Shik Young, saying that we should always make God and true parents our top priority. So I love this. I'm really enjoying um, making this vertical connection so that the heart of filial piety, or the, you know, what your mother called Hyojong, is being developed. I can feel the development taking place in my life, even in this moment. So that's the vertical line. So I'm also grateful to all the brothers and sisters here who come to these devotional service each day. Through this gathering, there is an opportunity to put into practice, you know, um, on the horizontal plane, all that we have learned vertically. The third point of gratitude is that to a man who was already in the spiritual world, his name is Hyo Won Hyu, Mr. Hyu. He wrote down the divine principle and systematized it, enabling we as Westerners to be able to understand, you know, Father's teaching. So I am deeply grateful to Reverend Hugh. I did not meet him personally, but I met his wife, Mrs. Yu, who came to America and um, educated us in the Hundok style of uh, our lecture manual type of uh, teaching divine principles. So I'm deeply grateful to the uh, President Yu and his wife. My third, fourth point of appreciation goes to Dr. Sang Hun Lee, who gave us the unification thought and also the counter proposal to atheistic communism. He wrote down, so I'm deeply grateful to, to this man because had it not been for his, his work, you know, how would we um, be able to overcome, you know, the, the communist world? My next point is to that of all the translators. You know, father came to America, but he did not speak English. But through the translation of you know, people like Dr. Bohi Pak, we came to hear the divine principle and to learn Father's way of thinking. A 
Another point of appreciation goes to, you know, Father established 50 holy grounds here in the United States. And he planted stones and soil from Korea, connecting the two as one. So I really enjoy going to the holy ground and offering faithful jung song to Heavenly Father and true parents, knowing that, knowing the significance of, of the holy ground. So I'm grateful for that. Another one that I'm grateful for is for True Father's autobiography as a peace-loving global citizen. Think about that. We learn through, you know, this story about Father's early life and how he grew up as a small boy until his meeting of Jesus and to the great accomplishments he has achieved. Then also, we are grateful for True Mother's memoir, eh? Mother of Peace. This is the newest and latest of all, uh, you know, writings that we have. And so I'm deeply grateful for True Mother's, you know, memoirs. Another thing that I'm grateful for is the great rallies that we have done here in America. The Washington Monument, the Yankee Stadium uh, rally, and quite recently, uh, Peace Starts With Me. So all those rallies um, were like monumental events that really helped to, to put God's providence of restoration here in America uh, in, in, um, in a position for the restoration of the world. So whenever Father finished, you know, um, an event here in America, he would go back to Korea with that victory so that these two nations working providentially could, could be great allies. And another one that I'm grateful for is that our true mother, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, is now on American soil. She's now on American soil, and she's not alone. She's with our Eurydite teacher, Dr. Chong Shik Young. So we believe that Reverend Young is representing all of us and taking the heart of Jung Sung that we have developed through our 40 days of conditioning to to true mothers. So I'm deeply grateful for that. So what a wonderful time to be alive and to be here at Belvedere with all the brothers and sisters in this great time of great season of love. So thank you very much, Dr. Young. God thank bless you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good evening. And thank you, uh, Mr. Bob. Uh, Mr. Bob is just saying that you know, he talking about the uh, also the Mr. Bob also want to want to follow him. I think that is a really very beautiful kind of uh, artistic relationship. So, you know, she just say there where there are two or three people in my name, I am there. So I really learned uh, the basic uh, like a ministry from a Reverend Yohan Lee, my spiritual teacher. He said that no need to worry about the ministry. You need to begin from two or three people. When you build up artistic relationship among two or three people, that is kingdom of heaven. So if you have at least two or three people, you know, artistic relationship, actually you never feel lonely. Wherever you go, you feel, feel lonely means you, you don't have the artistic object partner. Where there is a artistic object partner, always you feel 
joy and happiness. That's why wherever I go, in any pioneering place, even my working place, anywhere, your purpose of your life to have artistic relationship, at least the minimum two or three people. That's why Father is saying that God's kingdom of heaven begins from two or three people's artistic relationship. You know, now I always thinking that now our Mr. Saw is following with me. And you know, wherever I go, he is he is with me. And I am thinking my heart relationship deeper and deeper, more closer or, or closer. I'm working with Reverend Randall and then Ta, you know, Ta and then Tomomi. My relationship is deeper and deeper. Every morning I'm attending morning devotion and delivering God's word. Those who are coming to the our Belvedere training center. And my inner relationship is getting better and better and deeper and deeper. This is a very important point. Whatever I do, what kind of the job uh, 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 do I have? Main thing is how to build up artistic relationship. This is a very, very important key point. Wherever you go, when you build up, you know, from the beginning to a three people heartistic relationship, your life of faith always growing, always developing, always multiplying. That's why no need to think big people, 10 people, or how to, how to handle so many people. No need to mention these kind of things. I think your life of faith need to begin from two or three people, how to make artistic relationship. Thank you, Sam, so much. I think Mr. Bob's, uh, you know, appreciation, I really inspire. And also our heavenly green is really mentioned many things. I, I really appreciate his appreciation as well. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, I really appreciate all of you and our beloved true mother. She safely arrived in America. So you look at this photo and mother just uh, safely landed. And then uh, I think uh, all the immigration and custom smoothly passed and then and mother came to the uh, 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 her place. And then mother was so happy. I really, really, I am really so much grateful and mother is coming to America, even though not easy situation in America, but she came to America. She showed a smile. Looks of her health is very, very good. I was really, really happy. She come here all the way from fatherland, you know, to bless our elder son nation, America. And then she came to the uh, America this year. She, her overseas trip actually first time, you know, after uh, uh, first time to the uh, America. Actually, she came exactly one year ago and came to America now. Uh, now she's staying here very safely. Why don't you give a big hand to our beloved true mother? <laughs> and then as soon as she entered her room, she discovered a very, very beautiful gift. Do you know what, what kind of gift? she immediately discovered that this one, this one is a 1,200 paper, uh, 10,200 uh, uh, 10, uh, paper, cranes. paper cranes. So our four uh, sub-regional leader, our Reverend Jackson, uh, John Jackson couple brought to the, brought here all the way from Texas. And then I think, one uh, one day and and then plus a half day one and half day it took long time driving all the way 
And also he brought really incredible also offering and also these uh, paper cranes. I think mother just entered. We, uh, we decorated in her room and mother just look at that mother really, really happy and then touching the this paper of our cranes. I really appreciate again our Reverend Johnson, John Jackson's couple, and then all four uh, sub regional uh, members of those who are really create this beautiful gift for True Mother. I think it took more than one month. I thought this is not just only for, uh, from, for, uh, from the sub region four, from the entire American uh, place of family, brothers and sisters, including our Canada. I think we offered uh, our really almost chong song, almost offering to to mother. I think mother say that why I pass immigration so smoothly, everything is really good. And then she first what uh, say that I think many American brothers and sisters and also from all over the world, many people pray for me putting a lot of jangsam, that's why I came to America safely. I was so grateful to Mother Sharing. You look at this photo, and then, you know, a few days ago, uh, our John Jackson couple brought these, uh, you know, pepper grains, uh, more than, you know, this, uh, you know, the left side, left side is this uh, representative of the true father, no, 5,100 uh, paper uh, cranes and the right side uh, representative the true mother, okay, 5,000 also 100, total 10,200 paper cranes. And then this right side, do you know who are they? Our beautiful and then uh, the handsome, you know, our, uh, our reverend, uh, you know, say couple. Actually, Japanese uh, Godan group, I think they really prepare for mother whole year. They are putting a lot of Jungsong condition. And then all Japanese uh, Godan group, they offer beautiful offering to true mother. And then I explain, you know, mother didn't come only the, or nearly one year and then our all Japanese brothers and sisters put their jongsong, and then you know we offer to you, mother. Mother was so happy to see such a beautiful offering. Once again, I really appreciate our uh, Reverend uh, Inose couple and also all Japanese brothers and sisters who are really helping our American brothers and sisters from Japanese group. I really appreciate all of you. And then uh, True Mother came out for her room and then we spent around 30 to 40 minutes. At the time, Dr. ki Hun Kim there, I am there, and Reverend Tu is there. And then I was our lawyer, and then uh, three, uh, the four or five people, and then Mother sharing about the, you know, why she came to America all the way. And then actually she briefly explained about the, her main message. Actually, she's going to deliver on 5th of December. So today I don't want to share. I think you better directly hear her message on 5th of December. I think uh, her message will be very, very incredible. Kind of this time, I think mother's speech will be like a revolutionary about speech. Very, very important. So let's invite all clergies and let all our brothers and sisters attend, uh, you know, WCLC a gathering December 5th. And then today I'd like to share centering on our true mother's letter. I'd like to talk about our true mother's shojong. Last year, you know that, uh, you know, and when Father's uh, Song Hwajal, seventh uh, anniversary of Father's uh, Song Hwajal, True Mother offered a very, very beautiful and very artistic 
and really devoted uh, the letter to the father. Uh, please, already you know all the content, but I'd like to uh, remind you what is the our true mother's shojong. Today, I'd like to talk about that. And then from the beginning, father said, a mother said, beloved father, how we miss you, father. You are always with us. It is already seven years since your holy ascension to the heavenly realms. There is no place in heaven and earth untouched by your sweat and tears. On this day, we particularly long for you. Mother's first word, beloved father, how much we miss you. I already mentioned that the world of the kingdom of heaven is that the world of longing heart. Where there is love, definitely there is a longing heart. Even though our true father ascend to the spiritual world, in mother's heart, never ever forget father. She really miss her husband, Father Sun Myung Moon. She always have a longing heart for Father. That's why Mother mentioned how we miss you. You know, that is a mother's heart. We need to really understand in a mother's heart. And then Mother said, Father, you are always with us. It means mother is always get along together with the father, even though father went to spiritual world. I think she never feel separated from father. Father's heart, father's mind, father's spirit, always with mother. We need to understand this point kind of the inseparable relationship between father and mother. And mother said, it is already seven years. It is already seven years since your holy ascension to heavenly realm. And then mother said, there is no place in heaven and earth untouched by your sweat and tears. This one is really, for me, really touching the mother's heart. And father's heart, Ma mother mentioned that there is no place in heaven and earth and untouched by your sweat and tears. Because true father, true mother came to the earth as the Messiah, as a true parent, right? So he came as the Messiah, as a parent. He need to touch each one of the item of all things, each one of the human being, each one of the nation, each one of anything. He really came on behalf of God, and on behalf of God, on behalf of all the history and cosmos. That's why he need to touch one by one, you know, touch one by one each item of the old things and touch the sky and touch the old things and trees and then mountain and then ocean and water, every part. Since Adam and Eve fell, nobody touched by God's hand. Nobody touched by God's heart. That's why mother saying that. How much true father, true mother traveling everywhere, every corner of the world. That's why our father is really amazing as the Messiah. How many times he visited the world, holy, holy, holy ground tour, he visited 120 nations. How often he went to the world? How often he came, our father and mother came to the America and Japan. We cannot count. That's why mother feel, mother saying that there is no place in heaven and earth untouched by your sweat and tears. It means our true parents have the concept of the total 
total salvation. No one missing, no nation missing, and then no province missing. Parent has entire concept to embrace each one of the children, each one of the item of all things. That is the heart of the parents. You know, that's why I really need to, I really need to innate that kind of true parent's heart everywhere. For example, I came to America. You know, there are 50 states. I want to resemble father's spirit. Every part, every state of the America 50 state, every city, every state, every province, you know, every religion, any kind of people, I want to touch them in the name of God, in the name of our true parent. That is a continental direct mission centering on total salvation, nobody missing. That's why every corner of the world, every corner of the, in America, we can feel that Father's sweat and blood and tears everywhere he touched. Wow, if we have that kind of parental heart, if we have that kind of the concept of the total salvation, how much beautiful. There's no enemy can embrace everybody. This is the quality of heart and love. Jesus quality, heart and love embrace entire world, even embrace enemy. Our father, mother was like that. You see our saints, even Jesus and Muhammad or, you know, Confucius, all the saints, they travel like our true father and mother all over the world. Any sages, saints, they travel in America, 50 states several times. I think you see our true parents, what is that? His life, his footstep. Just uh, no need to mention about his heart and mind. Just externally, you look at that, our true parents' footstep. How much he really travel and visit. We cannot ignore the other Messiah. That's why I learned from that kind of spirit, total salvation from father and mother. I visited in, uh, in the Philippines, I visited 167 cities, no missing, no missing the city, everywhere. I know Philippines more than anyone. And then with Dr. Kittel, I visited 35 states of my order, the India, everywhere without exception. I visited 25 provinces in Cambodia, everywhere. In Thailand, in Malaysia. Because I want to visit everywhere. I want to touch everywhere because I came here on behalf of a father and mother, true parent, on behalf of God. Wow. This kind of a concept of the total salvation, I really love that. I have to be responsibility, responsible for entire world, entire my nation, as a national leader, as a state leader. And through Father, go every state and make the holy ground. If you have that kind of a total of a salvation concept, I want to touch everywhere, every city, every town. If we have that kind of parental heart, God's heart to embrace a whole nation, embrace, embrace the entire world, we, as long as we have that kind of heart and mindset, we can move our nation. We can move the world. That's why I really want to inherit from true parent. That's why wherever I go, any nation I go there and then visiting holy ground, there's no holy ground, I establish holy ground. And then mother said, on this day, we particularly long for you. Seventh anniversary. Wow. As a woman, which woman 
visited entire world. How many times she do world tour? Throughout human history, which woman visited everywhere, not just only visiting, delivering God's message through just her footstep. We can know that she is a begotten daughter. She is God's daughter. Are you? No one can deny how much powerful woman she came now in America. How much grateful we are. That's why we need to know that what the, 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 the wall of a heart. Because a father and mother always have heavenly parents' heart. That's why when we understand the word of a heart, the meaning of a heart, then automatically we want to be a champion of, of a heart. So I really am so happy how our unification thought and our true parents described the meaning of a heart. What is the heart? We are Korean word, 심정. Number one, 심정 means what? The emotional impulse that cannot help but live for the sake of others. Secondly, the emotional impulse that cannot help but love others. Thirdly, the emotional impulse that cannot help but sacrifice for the sake of others. Number four, in other words, the emotional impulse has to love no matter what. Wow. I think I really love this kind of this, uh, the, the, the explanation of the meaning of the heart. Wow, amazing. Had no choice, you know, almost cannot control, uncontrol love and heart and go to the object partner. Like uh, when, when mother and father see the baby, like, uh, you know, uncontrolling love go to the object partner, this is heart. This is, we call it, shimjong in Korean word, shimjong. That's why, do you have a shimjong? If you have a shimjong, you know, you cannot help but live for the sake of others. If you have a shimjong, you cannot help the love for others. If you have a shimjong, you know, you cannot help but sacrifice for, the, sacrifice for the sake of others, sacrifice for the sake of others. That's why Korean people often say, do you have a heart? Do you have a heart? Of course, everybody have a heart, but what does it mean to you have a heart means? How much do you have longing heart? How much are you heartistic person? How much you are man of shimjong? Long time ago when I joined our Korean movement, Always my senior brothers and sisters, Shikku member saying that, oh, little young, your shimjong is good. Your shimjong is good. In the beginning, I couldn't understand why that, what are they talking about. Your shimjong is good. We do not say in Korea, we do not say your faith is good. We are saying that your shimjong is good. Shimjong means what? You cannot help but live for the sake of others. You cannot help but love others. You cannot help but sacrifice for the sake of others. Really, that kind of the emotional impulse that has to love no matter what. Wow, that, 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 that uh, in such a way God created human being. In such a way, our true parents love each one of the human being. That was God's original motivation. Why need to create object partner? Amazing. Amazing. That's why Heavenly Father has a shimjong. True Father has that kind of shimjong. True mother has that kind of shimjong. That's why <laughs> our true mother really cannot control. Uh, 
She cannot help but live for the sake of our member. She cannot help but live for the sake of America. That is parental heart. Really, this is a parental heart. Amazing. <laughs> Mother's, mother wrote the letter. Father, one year before your ascension, even though you were more than 90 years of age, you beat the United, uh, United States eight times. And you know that from the, you know, America to Korea, how far it is. Minimum 13 hours or 14 hours, a 19 years old man, come and go, different time. You know, even young people, you just came from Korea or you came from America, you need to, you know, to adjust. Yeah, at least it takes a few days. Can you imagine 90 years old man for what reason came to America eight times in a year? Can you imagine that how much our true parents love the this nation, eldest nation? We need to know that how much our true parents pour out their spirit, their, their you know, heart and spirit to love the eldest nation. Wow. We need to inherit that kind of spirit from our true parents. Mother mentioned about that. Mother said, refusing to care for your health. You invest yourself completely for the sake of the world and for humanity. The words you said, Mother, once we finish this task and there is a little else to do, then let's take a short break. Never came through owners in the end. Father, you walked day and night and since I lived my life in attendance to you, I did not sleep more than three hours a night throughout my life. You know, one time mother mentioned that. When mother sleep with father, father, wake up very often, that's why whenever father wake up and mother also need to wake up. That's why as long as the true mother sleep with the father, is a mother is a very sensitive character, you know, really so much pay attention to father, you know, attend to the father. That's why when father wake up, automatically mother need to wake up. Mother's job more difficult. She attend 50 years, 60 years of her father. Can you imagine? Mother said, since I lived my life in attendance to you, I did not sleep more than three hours a night throughout my life. She showed a model of the attendance. She showed us how to really attend to father, the life of attendance. If we attend to father more than mother, then maybe we can say we can complain. Huh? Someone attend father more than to mother, then we can say something. However, nobody can make that kind of chong song attendance more than mother. How much is she travel also? Wherever true father, wherever father go, and then mother absolutely follow without any complaint. Huh? One time father said, mother said, father said, oh, Oma, mother go. Then we, we no time to make up and then just immediately follow. Which woman complain? Huh? When we see true father, that kind of the, uh, when we see our true mother's lifestyle, who can complain? We attend that much, my husband. 
We attend that much father, that much wife. We attend that much my wife. We attend that much my husband. We attend that much my own physical father and mother. We attend that much my central figure. When we see the model life of our true mother's attendance, nobody complain. Then why father sleep less all the time? What's the reason? Why mother cannot sleep even now? What's the main reason? Because of heart. Her heart is the same as father's heart. Same as God's heart. God's heart is suffering heart in order to save all mankind. How much God shedding tears. That's why Father say, my laughing, even though someone make me laugh, maximum 30 seconds, I go back again to my original face, very serious face. Why? I know who God is. I know who God is. Wow. How can we inherit that kind of the mother's heart? How can we inherit that kind of the father's heart? I feel, I feel even though I born again, 100 times, even 1,000 times, I cannot be true father. I cannot be true mother. Thank God we have such a kind of the father. Such kind of the mother, such a begotten daughter, now we are living together. How much grateful I am. Aju? And then mother said, oh, during sweltering summer of 2012, you were hospitalized for the final time. But even then, you rebooked, scolded those who recommended you to stay in hospital, saying there's, a, there's a still no much to do. Why are we spending so much time at the hospital? You then hasten to return to Chonjonggung. You instructed today, set the table for two with the mother facing me. Hearing you say this, the members were very puzzled because you always sat by uh, my side for meals. And then mother said, although the lunch table had been set, father, you did not once lift your spoon. Instead, all you did was gaze into my face. Father, I think that you are most likely engraving, engraving my face in your heart. I smiled, placed a spoon in your hand and some side dishes on your rice. Then I continued to gaze at you as you ate. Father, I also engraved your face in my heart. True father already know. He already know. He will go to spiritual world very, very soon. Even true mother already know. Father going to spiritual world very, very soon. What the father said? Last moment, you know, he gazed into mother's face. You know, father, very beautiful, isn't it? Our true mother is very beautiful, isn't it? As a husband and wife, as a begotten son and begotten daughter, encourage each other walk together on behalf of God, on behalf of heaven. 
they are actually beautiful relationship each other, inseparable relationship each other. We need to know that. Somebody about the mention about that, oh, you know, not so good relationship between father and mother, all kind of the issues. I am telling you that. Sometimes, you know, in the family, as a husband and wife, unhappy and then say this and that. But, you know, that is not the main thing. Sometimes, you know, you know, different feeling, different emotion. But what I know, our true father and true mother, they are in a relationship, inseparable. 50 years, 60 years, get along together. Oh, always serving God, always show them toward our heavenly parents. And then mother's letter continue. The day when the rays of the sun were particularly strong, you carry an oxygen tank the size of a full-grown person and toured the Chongpyeong Lake area, beginning with the Chongsim International Middle and High School. Then after returning to Chongjonggung, you prayed, heaven, please give your blessing. I beseech you to allow me to conclude things. Then you requested that a voice recorder be brought. You offered your last prayer with me saying, I have completed the mission of the providence of restoration. So here important thing, you know, I have completed the mission of the providence of restoration means what? Actually 10 years ago before father's passing away, 10 years ago father continuously talking about from, from uh, 2000, continuously talking about January 13, January 13, in 2013, January 13, January 13, in 2013, January 13, January 13, in 2013, I need to establish a foundation day, I need to establish a foundation day, I establish a foundation day, become his song, become his singing. How much our father waited for foundation day? Foundation day means officially proclaimed substantial chanilgu on the earth. Waited and waited for that day. But just a few months left and father passed away. I was very upset actually. I really upset. Why father, you know, just only left a few months and left earlier. <sighs> Lay down, I realized that. Wow, even Father's song, huh? incredible meaning. When Mother proclaimed Foundation Day, Chan Il Gu, on 13 of January in 2013, when Mother declared, today from now on, I am proclaimed Foundation Day. When she declared on the earth, mother as the representative of earth, and father went to the spiritual world. When mother proclaimed the foundation day, and then the opened the kingdom of heaven at the same time on the earth and in heaven together. Wow, amazing. If just only true father, true mother proclaim on the earth Chan Il Gu, but spiritual world not yet begin. Only begin after father and mother pass away and then only begin. However, because of father's ascension and go to spiritual world, when mother proclaim foundation day, and then can open the door of the kingdom of heaven, both world, which is which are spiritual world and physical world together. Wow. And Father say, I have completed the mission of the providence of restoration. It means what I am completed 
더 콜스 오브 더 인데비티 노모아 인데비티 에라 올리 디 레이더 파운데이션 프롬 나원 섭스탄절 가치 킹덤 헤븐 온디 얼스 와 Without proclamation of the foundation day, even though blessed family you pass away, you cannot enter substantial God's kingdom of heaven. Wow, this is a found. That's why foundation day. This is the first day of the Chinese book. That's why even Father he himself sacrificed. I came to understand, maybe different people, different understanding, but this is my personal view. I understand that way. Amazing. That's why Father said, now only the channel group begins, then anyone fulfill heavenly tribal messiahship, you can inherit Father's foundation, you can enter the kingdom of heaven with your 430 couples. Today, mother talked to me. Do you know, father, mother, very emphasizing one thing. Mother say about the clergy. You need to educate them. Oh my goodness. Before I'm saying something that, mother saying that, all clergy need to register Chanbo one. Mother said, hey, young, do you know the meaning of the Chanbo one? Mother said, I am telling you again, anyone register Chanbo, they will become eternal ancestors. You, are, you joined church earlier because of 36 couple, 72 couple, a senior blessed couple, does not matter. Who will be eternal ancestor? Now your your not your past generation, not your future generation, who complete, and then register Chanbo one, you are eternal ancestor. Mother asked me to encourage all the clergy to become Chanbo one member. Wow! I again again to this morning. Uh, yesterday, I realized that my brother says that there are three stages of a kingdom of heaven for blessed family. Okay, the formation stage kingdom of heaven, an ideal family realizing the four great realms of heart and three great kingship. This is centering on family level only. This is a formation stage of the kingdom of heaven, centering on your blessed family. Anyone receive blessing, you enter kingdom of heaven. Huh? But this is a formation stage, not yet substantial. And what's the gross stage of the kingdom of heaven? The completion of the heavenly tribal messiahship and ancestor liberation and then also blessing ceremony of a 430 generation. This is a gross stage of the kingdom of heaven. Then what the, the completion stage of the kingdom of heaven? When we substantially restore one nation, one sovereignty, one people. Wow, three level we need to go. Why we need to do why we need to do heavenly tribal message? Our motivation, our goal is very clear in order to establishing substantial chon il go. We need to know that. Because of that. Our true father sacrificed and go to spiritual world earlier. And then mother said, then you said, mother, thank you, mother. Take good care of everything. Father, despite the difficulty of your condition, you kept saying, I am so sorry. I am so grateful to mother. I held your hand more firmly and looking at you gently with a uh, soothing voice, I put you at ease. Do not worry about anything, Father. You then return to heavenly 
parent's bosom and you are resting in Bonyangwon at the foot of the mountain, Chonsong. Wow. Before father going to spiritual world, was his last confession to the mother? He said, Mother, I am so sorry. At the same time, I'm so grateful. If I go to spiritual world earlier, you are the one who need to carry on all heavy mission what I could not fulfill. You are not man, you are one, one of the women. You need to carry on 6,000 years cross. You are the one who fulfill all my remaining job. I need to pass on to you, mother, that I feel I am so sorry, mother. Until now, I made you so much suffer. Anyway, you follow me and unite me, unite with me wherever I go. Now I need to go. Mother, I am so grateful. I am really, really thankful to you. That was the father's last confession to true mother. And then what is true mother's answer? And then he, she fall, you know, she, she held her father's hand more firmly, very tightly. And then mother talked to father. Don't worry about anything. Father, don't worry. Even though she do not say internally, I will be responsible. What you could not do, I will be responsible. Don't worry about anything. I will do. Father, no worry. That, that is a mother's huge toward God. Her resolution, her huge toward God. We need to inherit that, that, that kind of the mother's huge toward God, toward our true father. We need to understand this mother's letter, this mother's confession. Mother said, Father, following your holy ascension, I came to Ponyangwon at dawn every day. There were countless excuses or reasons why I might have rested and not visited you but whether it snowed abundantly in the winter of the rain, torrentially in the fall. I came to Ponyangwon each day in those early morning hours. For 40 days after you ascended, I offer you breakfast and dinner. When I missed you, which was on numerous occasions, I came to your tomb Ponyangwon and talk with you. Through these conversations, your thought became my thoughts and my thoughts became yours. Oh my God. How much true father, true mother, united with the father. You know, according to Korea tradition, long time ago, you know, your, one of your father and mother passed away and then we have, we say that shimyo. Shimyo means you need to attend your uh, past, uh, past, uh, past your father and mother at the tomb, minimum for three years. You know, no house. You just put like a small tent and then living there. And then every meal you need to offer to your father and mother. That is the Korean tradition of the filial piety. Normally, this kind of the, you know, attitude need to show from children, not from the wife. Actually, we are the one who's supposed to do 
through father, son, and daughter. So, but mother, she is the one who did that kind of the attendance, that kind of the offering. In according to Korean tradition, not by wife, by children. Oh my God. For 40 days after you ascended, I offer you breakfast and dinner. When I missed you, which was on numerous occasions, I came to Ponyang on your tomb and talked with you. Through this conversation, your thought became my thought, and my thought became your thought. Wow. Our mother really, really incredible wife. She's the model of the wife. She's the model of the mother. Wow, amazing our true mother. That's why Bible is saying that Jesus said, John 14, 20, on that day you will realize that I am in my father and you are in me, and I am in you. But Jesus said like that, but through mother, through father, practice that one. That's why we really need to inherit this kind of the Bible verse that, that kind of spirit from Jesus and from our true parents. On that day, you will realize that I am in my father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Uh, on that day, you will realize that I am in true father, and true father is in me, and, and, and I am in true father. On that day, you realize that I am in true parents, and true parents are in me, and I am in true parents. So this kind of the, was the relationship between husband and wife, between parents and child, we need to also inherit in my family. Okay? We, between your wife, between your husband and wife, between parent and child. I am in my father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Unity. That's why when you have that kind of period of the relationship, and then mother can confess that your thought become my thought, my thought become your thought. Completely united. Who say? Father and mother different. Whether the sun beat down, the wind blew, and all oh, thunder and lightning suddenly struck, and uh, torrential rain poured down, or whether snow blanketed the, the, the land for 1,950 days, uh, 1,095 days following your ascension, I carried on offered my devotion in remembrance of you. I also retraced the 5,600 kilometers you traveled from Las Vegas to New York in the United States in the 1970s. I climbed the 12 mountains we had climbed together in, in the Alps. Then I resolved to fulfill the promise I made you to return and to the spirit of the early days on the church and revive the church in the spirit and the truth. Can you imagine 1,095 days, three years, art and completely for Father? Wow. Since Father ascend, she completely really, you know, and focus on the father, for fathers, well, uh, attend, attend for father for three years. And then mother follow exactly father's footstep. That's why mother's preparation for three years since father left. And then she really strong resolution. Okay, I already inherited from father's foundation, I need to have a strong determination. I'm not just only Jung Sung. I need to wrestle the world. She strongly determined, you know, after father passed away three years. And then through father's word here. 
uh, your daily life, you, uh, oh, I did not read here, just a moment, I'll go back here. Uh, we had climbed together and Alpha, then I resolved to fulfill promise I made you to return to the spirit of the early days of the church and revive the church in the spirit and truth. Spirit and truth, Mother very much emphasized. We need to go back to our original point. When Father uh, the, uh, the started his ministry, always spirit and truth. However, our unification movement, can you, can you feel Holy Spirit in your church? What do you think? In your family, can you spirit Holy Spirit? In your center, our headquarter, can you feel Holy Spirit or not? We know divine principle, we know truth. We know divine principle, that's why we accept Father and Mother, they are the Messiah. In our movement, lacking point is Holy Spirit. Even though our name is HSA, Holy Spirit Association, but no Holy Spirit. We know divine principle that we know the truth that we join. But lacking point is what? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and truth need to combine together. Otherwise, you cannot experience of the rebirth. Your church cannot grow up. That's why mother want to make that kind of church. And then only about the, the blue part I want to read. Spirit and truth must become one with each other. These uh, components need to be harmonized with each other. And read the part. Between spirit and body, that is a spirit and truth, which is the subject partner. Spirit is a subject partner. Truth is a relational. Relational means directional. It means it is changeable. However, spirit is unchangeable since it is a central and multi-directional. It never changes. That's why even though you have a wonderful skill, how to deliver sermon, how to give a wonderful lecture, why people cannot have experience of the rebirth? Lack of Holy Spirit. Lack of Holy Spirit. Of course, our, our true mother, substance, Holy Spirit, but spiritually, Holy Spirit, how to come down without chong song, without prayer, without honesty, without putting your devotion, you cannot feel Spirit, Holy Spirit. Become very dry. That's why our, how can we create our church become very warm? How can we make it warm? No other way. We need to have a lot of Jongsong condition. Devotion, spirit, offering spirit. And then really treat each other as heavenly sons and daughters. We really need to build artistic relationship. When we build up artistic relationship, nobody wants to leave that center, that home, from that environment. Our church is really creating that kind of Holy Spirit or not? Huh? If there is a Holy Spirit, I want to be there, I want to sleep there, I want to get along with the member. When I join church, of course, I love divine principle, but I really love that environment, Holy Spirit environment, care each other, loving each other. My spiritual mother, my spiritual father, my spiritual elder brother care of me so much. I can feel like a heart stick, Holy Spirit. I don't want to go back home. Why unification movement become dry and dry and dry and dry? Leg of Jung Song. Leg of Jung Song. Without Jung Song, you cannot invite Holy Spirit. That's why Mother said, I want to create our movement again and go back to earlier church. Yeah, everybody can feel Holy Spirit and truth combination together. Very important. We need to understand through Mother's determination. And Mother said, then on the third anniversary of your holy ascension, I beseech you to freely ascend 
to the eternal Pon Yang Won to attend and comfort heavenly parents who had been lonely until then and to be free from all burdens. Then for you, Father, and the heavenly parents, I resolve to succeed in the restoration of the seven nation by 2020. That's why mother travel everywhere, Africa, Asia, everywhere. She conditionally made only seven nations. And then mother's heart is great. Father, no worry. I will be responsible for your job. You are working so hard and then you already in the heaven. Your job is just a comfort and console heavenly parents. Heavenly parents was so much lonely. Now you are there. Your job is a concert and comfort God. The all three world, all three job, I will do that. No matter what, I resolve to succeed in the restoration of the seven nation by 2020. That's why she strong determination and resolution decided to go to everywhere, go to every corner of the world. Mother said, East to west, south to north. I ran with all my might, seeking to embrace the world. My mouth was sore, my legs were swollen. I could barely stand, yet I could not rest. This was because how difficult realizing the will may be. I had to keep the, I have to keep the promise I had made to you that I would conclude everything within my lifetime. I lived each day reaffirming my resolve that I would fulfill this without fail. I will fulfill this without fail, no matter what. And then to do so, I shall not change. Every time I desperately missed you, I looked to the moon for the champ, uh, companionship and spoke with it, reminding myself of the promise I had made to you as I stood before your holy body. I will firmly establish Chanilgu by the time I ascend. Living this way seven years has already passed since your holy ascension. My brothers and sisters, true mother desperation should be my desperation. Mother's promise should be my promise. Mother's determination should be my determination. Mother's dream should be my dream. This is the attitude of the filial sons and daughters. I'm talking about the, what does a filial sons and daughters? Filial son have the parent wish, parent dream. Whatever my parents want, I will do that. Every risk of my life, I will do that. That is a filial piety. True mother said, that is a show jong. This era requires Shojong. Mother's keyword, Shojong. Mother said, Father, you know, don't you know, don't you? Following your ascension, I felt lost for words. In a position where I was the only one remaining, my heart felt as if I were in the vast desert in the midst of a, a sandstorm, having to find a needle, a needle, yet unable to open my eyes. Nonetheless, I found it. I had to find it. Wow. That's why mother said, I was the only one remaining. Nobody really understood God's inner desire. Nobody understood our father's dream. 
I am the one who only understand God's heart, God's wishes. I am the one who understand truly Father's heart, God, Father's wishes. Now I am alone. I need to do it. I need to show. Then all unification is to all mankind follow me. No matter what, I need to stand up. She's crying and crying and crying. Her last seven years of course, how much she gone through internally suffering. As a woman, even father was so difficult. But she need to carry on even father's burden. That's why as a son and daughters, totally unite with the mother, we need to support our poor, our mother. Do you agree with me? Such a mother, begotten daughter, came to elder son nation. For what purpose? We need to understand who is my mother, who is my mom. We need to understand her heart, her tears, her wishes. Last slide. My resolve to absolutely restore seven nations by 2020. My resolve to register all blessed family in Chonbo One as a heavenly tribal messiah. So these are my gift to you. Father, I pray that these gifts, your life of Hyojong for heavenly parents can shine rays of the hope throughout the world. My brother says, it's a very important man, mother mentioned that. My visual, this is mother's visual, my visual to register all blessed family without exception in Chonbo One as heavenly tribal messiahs. These are my gift to you. I want to educate all blessed family. Let them register Chonbo One. This is the, my gift to you. My brothers and sisters, this is mother's wish, mother's region, resolution, without exception. We need to register Chanbo One, become heavenly citizenship. That is mother's wish, true parents' wish. That's why in America, we really educate all the clergy. Let them join, let them register Chanbo One. 144,000 people, the 144,000 in Bible, their number of the false resurrection, how to become first resurrection people. All of them register. Chan Bowen, they are the one who first resurrected people. That is a Bible dream finally come true centering on our Christian foundation in America. That's why this time, YCLC, our LCLC is very important. Not just only one of the event. This is the beginning point. Let them join Chanbo One. Then this one is the, can be a mother's great gift to our true father, heavenly parents. Mother said, Father, I love you. Father, I love you. That is mother's confession. How much a beautiful letter, incredible letter. You know, one of the top religious guy came from Australia. He's the like a kind of the, uh, the world president of that religion. And then he never came to Korea. He never met our movement. He did not listen even divine principle, but we invited him to come to, you know, Songhwa anniversary. And we brought him to Chongpyeong. Do you know this guy? He's a world president. When, he's, when he hear mother's letter, he said, wow. In my life, I never 
ever seen that kind of woman. I think she is very, very special. Today, I receive incredible inspiration. From now on, I will follow her. I will accept she is my mother, even without knowing divine principle. Wow. And then after that, I brought him to Thailand to attend our Asian clergy leadership workshop. Wow. Really, he incredibly changed. He said, you know, my religion starts from the Middle East, and then I, I, I bring out them, all of them now in the world, nearly 100,000 my members. I'm the world president. I want to educate all of them who true mothers, who true mother is. I want to give a blessing to everybody. Dr. Young, you and me work together. Let's bless all my religious people. Wow. When I hear that kind of beautiful testimony, I am telling you, time has come. The restoration of era already over. Now God's providence start from top to down. There is, there are definitely God prepared people need to find John the Baptist. This is the key. God already prepared through parents, already paid the indemnity. My brothers and sisters really work harder. Need to find John the Baptist. Let them become true parent disciple. Let them become God's sons and daughters. That's why this time we are doing YCLC assembly through the, our ACLC, very, very important. Let's mobilize more people. We really work harder, ask them to join the rally of the hope centering on ACLC, WCLC, LC. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a nice day today. Thank you. All the uh, Reverend Edner uh, select someone to giving reflection and prayer, short prayer. Wow, this is really an honor. Thank you, President Naokimi for the final of the 40 days in welcoming True Mother to America. Another big round of applause to our True Mother. She really is God on earth. She represents the full Trinity and how blessed are we to receive her in America. In many ways we're unworthy, but we are anointed despite all of that. Um, you know, Dr. Young, you're talking about mother's life, not getting sleep. You know, there was an expression that Dr. Balcom shared with me once that kind of expressed this well. He said that being married to father is like being married to a nuclear reactor. And it helped me understand a kind of energy and level that father had all the time the mother had to develop that on her own. There was no foundation that she could stand on. She didn't have Jesus Christ. She had to, all she had was a fallen Eve. That, that, that was the only foundation she had. And despite all of it, she attended every waking moment from early, early age, for me, I, I, as a second generation, I see True Mother as my example. She's the one who attended uh, God and Father. She's the one who, who figured this out. So she really is the example for everyone to follow. And um, so I'm just eternally grateful. Uh, yeah, I, I just, maybe I should stop there and just pray. But Thank you, Dr. Young. Incredible final conclusion of these 40 days. Let's pray. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Tomorrow's the 40th day. Okay. I guess I try to be special, but <laughs> <laughs> to prepare for the 40th day. Dear most beloved Heavenly Parent, uh, as we close this 39th day and we welcome her mother to Las Vegas, I'm so happy that she's in good health. And I pray that we can uh, respond to that fully, knowing that you're with us, that we can go straight to each VIP directly, standing on True Parents' foundation. I mean, parent, uh, let us not have any fear. Let us be filled with joy and hope and have fun knowing that uh, we are with our brothers and sisters and we have amazing leadership with Dr. Young and President Naokimi, and through them, we can really fly. Heavenly Parent, I pray that uh, we will remember the time that we're in and the minutes that we have left, the minutes we have left with our true mother on earth. Let us know who we are, your representatives. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Parent, every minute of my life is really important right now. Heavenly Parent, let us not waste a single minute anymore let us not have any regret looking back. We have to remember there will be a day when mother will pass to spirit world and we will reflect on what we've done in these last minutes that we had. So let us just unite with, with full joy and junk song and come on, Holy Spirit, let's just make it, let's just make this happen. Yeah. Heavenly Spirit, we invite you to come down and we want you to stretch your arms and legs and wrap around every person around. Let's embrace every child on this planet. They need to know that you're here. Your love is eternal and infinite and incredible. Heavenly parent, where that's the time. <laughs> and mother, she's in good health. She's leading us. And so there's no reason why we cannot succeed. I thank you and report this in the name of Milhan and Saika Stevens, a blessing to her family. Aju. Aju. Okay. Um... Once again, thank you, my brothers and sisters. Uh, I am now fully uh, pay attention to our mother and she can call me anytime. Yesterday we have a meeting and then I not yet sleep yet until now. <laughs> I did not sleep yet. Can you imagine? I am really waiting for mother, you know. So I am really, I am here on behalf of all the North American and brothers and sisters. Let's have one heart and one mind and then really make it great success of the, our event of the WCLC. So once again, I really appreciate all our brothers and sisters, not just only North America, so from all over the world. Now nearly 7,000 people are watching and from the Family Federation website and from the social media, Facebook. Every day, 7,000 people are watching for the, our the morning devotion. So that much they love mother, that much really love, uh, you know, true parents' vision. So not because of me, I think they are really want to really unite together with the true mother's vision. So please, let's do our best today also. Kamsamida, thank you very much.